Right, found what I need. A jack. So this stuff, pure clean, it says one teaspoon per gallon. So that's 20 teaspoons in there. Let's fill it up. Give it a bit of a stir. Well, a lot of a stir actually, because there's quite a lot of stuff in here. Right. Take the carpet up. tank is under here. There we go. Definitely gonna have to give these carpets a good clean up. There's the water tank. I'm just gonna pour this stuff in there. It'll get shaken up. Really difficult doing this one handed. Still some bits in there, but it'll be alright. Alright, no, just gonna get that. Oh god, that was cold. Give it a bit of a shake up. that on and I'm going to fill the tank up and then we'll run some water. Start to run the water through the taps to so get some of the liquid in there. hot water tap as well so turn the hot water tap on you need to get it into the tank I'll leave that running the so same with the shower room so that get some of it running through the taps so you then got a good mixture in the taps it also helps that uh, some of it's going to go into the uh, wastewater tank Do the same with the, with the shower as well, run some through. Not that we're drinking out of the shower, but you might as well clean those pipes as well. Now, the Pure Clean is something I do about once every six months. You just really want to be sure that your tank is, is clean. I mean, the water, the tap water that's in there is, is chlorinated anyway, so you shouldn't have to worry about it. But you don't really want any sort of scale or um, green stuff growing in there um, especially if you're leaving it uh, for a few weeks or months even some people leave them leave their vans for months over the winter so I definitely recommend using that if you were doing this but I think that's probably okay doing it once every six months it says on here I've, I mean I've filled the tank up I've run it through the taps to make sure that the uh, solution is in the pipes and it says to leave it to soak for one to 12 hours depending on the condition of the water so I think what I'll do is I'll come it's about 11 o'clock now so I'll come back about 4 o'clock and uh, we'll we'll drain it out and then at least I know it's had a bit of a bit of a soak with the um, thing so really all I need then to do is empty the tank so I'll, I'll open the waste the fresh water drain and we'll refill it with fresh water and pump it out 
and then we'll refill it again with fresh mains at least that what that's what it tells me on here so catch up with you a little bit later oh, and the other thing I wanted to mention is pure clean will clean stainless steel and not harm any components um, I'd rather use that than, than anything else that might damage stainless steel and the they're expensive components central heating uh, in motorhomes so you really don't want to mess about with uh, things that might damage your uh, your boiler so I've used this now probably ever since I had a motorhome since about 2003 so that's 16 years now uh, and I've not had a problem um, and I know the water's safe to drink so yeah definitely recommend this stuff shouldn't forget oops one thing you shouldn't forget is to empty the water out of the boiler as well so open the stopcock there got the pump on so let's switch that off as well you don't forget to open the taps to let the water out I'm just filling up, just letting it rinse through a little bit with the tap open at the back. And I'll close that off and let it fill up. some of the rinse water through the boiler So same thing again, and let water out of the boiler and open the tap outside. Right, don't forget to open the taps again, let the air out so the water can escape. I'm going to do that a couple more times and then we're done. Right, I've rinsed that out a couple of times now, so once the water's uh, emptied out for the second time on the rinse, I'll, uh, it'll be ready to use. I'll keep running it through the taps as well, just to make sure everything's clear on there. But uh, other than that, that's, that's basically how I do it. Um, so, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, remember to subscribe, hit the notifications icon, and I'll catch up with you soon. drawback of those cups I think and the question everyone asks is would you drink the water yeah it's fine Ugh.